Well, good afternoon on this uh, special day for me. Here we are on March 26, 2018 in northeastern Ohio about 3 p.m. And over here in the uh, southwest, we have a sun and a mucky sky. We don't have much time here before the uh, blue sky that we had gets taken over. Storm systems are coming in and it looks like we'll be cloudy for uh, probably till Friday or so. So I think we'll have 100% cloud cover by uh, 6 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. or so up here. So I did want to try to get a moon rising over here in the east northeast, but uh, it must still be below the houses and trees. So but it is supposed to be above the horizon. It's 74% uh, today. So, anyway, let's go up here real quick in this hazy sky. Take a look at the sun. And it's quite windy here, so, uh, with the lens extended, it's just going to shake around a whole bunch. But it was funny when I first started this, you know, zoomed in all the way. You can see <laughs> that's the wind whipping the lens around. But it looked like there were, uh, you could see flares and prominences. But I suppose it's just the uh, atmosphere and stuff. Yeah, this is not. Uh, I'm sure you can hear the wind. It's just whipping everything around. Pain in the ass here. <laughs> anyway, it's about uh, 56 degrees here. With the uh, storm systems coming from the west, I believe, or south. And one more look over here in the uh, east. I don't see anything yet. Let me walk around and try to see it. It should be up about uh, five degrees above the horizon, so it should be above the houses, I'd say. Let me go look. Alrighty, I found it. Let's go over there. Okay, sorry about that. It was really hard to find. I need to get a better uh, sunshade for this camera. But hiding behind those tree branches <laughs> is a 74% lit moon. There, I moved a bit out of the tree branches to get a better look see at it. It's kind of cool when you can see it go between the power lines <laughs> as it rises. I have this uh, B&W ND filter, it's a 1.8, 67, 106, okay, obviously I didn't screw it on, but there's a difference, it's off now. Alright, let me go back to the sun and try that. Okay, so there we go without the filter, and just putting it in front of the lens. And off. I don't like filters. I really don't. Except the UV haze one I keep on all the time. around. <laughs> 
could stack the other ND filter I have on top of it. Let's see what it shows. See, there's the one I was using. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, and this other filter is a B&W 67110. Uh, ND is 3.0. Screw those two together. There. Now, so hard to screw in this type of uh, this camera. Come on, motherfucker. Made in Germany. Good quality. Alright, I didn't get it screwed on all the way, but I uh, hope it doesn't fall off. So that's with the two ND filters on there. Quite interesting. That's a cool look. I don't know what color you call that, but damn tree branch. Just a second, let me move us. So we'll try it again. God, it looks so much different than it does with the uh, orange solar filter. Check over here. Whoops. That's cool. Yeah, very interesting look and color. But of course, it's too dark to uh, see the rest of the sky. So. See, I stacked them together, but you can't see, so I'm pointing at the damn sun. Oh, look at those chemtrails. Great, guys, thanks. Just what we needed. Oh, boy. There, I don't know if you can see the writing on it, but two of them stacked. One is the B&W 67110. The other one is a 67106, so ND 1.8 and ND 3.0, which I'm guessing 3.0 is darker. Alright, put these back in our cases. There. Now, check out all the crap you've been spraying in our skies, you jerks. Criminals. So yeah, by the looks of things, this is going to be it for uh, <laughs> viewing this week. And with the clouds rolling in tonight, I won't be able to get the moon after the sun sets. So I'm going to have to wish you all a wonderful day and week, <laughs> so it seems. Ah, right through the trees again. Such a cool shot on this Monday, March 26th, 2018. All right. Uh, have a wonderful week, you guys. Be safe, all. Bye from Ohio.